This is Hot Tips Video Part 2, and in this video we're going to be testing many different things, including some of the bad things, so you know quickly how to get the best experience, just so we know it works with what I just a little bit more, as well as how is it with recording guitar? Well, we test that in this video. Now let's get started. Let's kick this off with some guitar playing recorded in 32-bit float with the Zoom F3. It's possible, 48 volts phantom power at the right adapter. What you're hearing here is a guitar connected with uh, the Nutrix cable, directly input into the Zoom F3. And I simply connected the adapter for guitar right in here, the one quarter inch. And this part to the Zoom F3, 48 volts, phantom power, not a problem. Now let's go to this adapter. Thank you, Music Planet and Campbell River for your assistance. So if you're looking for any musical instruments or tools for your audio, check out Music Planet in Campbell River on Vancouver Island. Now when it comes to the Zoom F3, we can actually put a memory card file onto Audacity, but we can't use it as a float interface. Here's what will happen. Right now I'm setting this up as an audio interface. We're going to set it to PC because that's what I have. And I'm going to set this to float and watch what happens when I go to Audacity. For some free programs like Audacity, we can at least USB transfer a file. So let's go to here. And I'm going to select that. We can see the files right here. And this allows me to at least take the actual file from the memory card and I can now edit. If you set your audio interface instead of float to linear, right here, linear, is going to work with everything, just like a regular audio interface would with any other device. It's just the volume is going to be quite low. Interface is linear and float. Good luck noticing the difference. You'll honestly be hard pressed to know the difference whatsoever. 32 bit float, you can lift the volume so it looks like it's clipping and it's not clipping. Now one thing I should mention is if you have a remote control that's wireless like this, don't put it right against here while you're running the Zoom F3. This is not shielded right here. But let's get to something a little different now. How to connect a mobile phone to Line Out. There are two ways to do this. Line Out itself is the way that's going to allow clipping, but it's a very simple method to connect. And you got proper volume right out of the package. We've got a ceramonic connector of links below for this connector. And use a regular stereo cable. Not one of three lines, a regular stereo cable. Now I'm going to connect this part. So for proper sound quality, we use line out. Your phone might work directly, but if you don't have an open camera or the sure mode of app in your audio is going to either probably be hissy or not be worked through your microphone. Right now I'm using my mobile phone connected line out to my Zoom F3. How am I coming through? And I'm using my AT4040 from Audio Technica as my microphone. For connecting iPhone or any other method, you're going to need a proper lightning to USB type C. You'll have to find something hopefully certified by Apple or else it might not work. Now for Android, it is very, very simple. I simply get a USB cable to the phone. There's no special trick to this. It's now can be set up as an audio interface. So for PC Android, I'm going to choose as an audio interface use PC Mac for I believe Apple it's gonna be a tablet connection I believe so anyways I can't choose 32-bit float I have to choose linear for my phone and before I press actually well let's do it right now here we go we have the zoom f3 connected just a plain Jane type connection and again just like to PC your volume is gonna be low you can barely see those lines of a volume. So I'm just about ready to record. I got my microphone right here beside me. Let's see if I can show that on camera. And I'm going to press record. This is Eric of Not BIOS. How am I coming through using my mobile phone recording me and using this microphone with my 
Zoom F3 audio interface. So, am I coming through nice and clear? And this audio is gonna be boosted in post, of course, because it is quite quiet. Pretty darn simple to connect 3.5 millimeter. If you haven't watched part one, watch in the description below. When it comes to powering this device, the battery life is kind of mediocre. And there are many different ways to power this. This is the one from Zoom itself, model on this, right there. And this is connecting through USB connection on the other side to this device. And this gives you wall power so you don't have to worry. Though, what if you're on the go? Well, you can use a battery bank. This one has a switch, so I know it's on definitively. The lights just simply remain on. If I use a battery bank with this, I generally need to leave the light on or also draw too little power that a battery bank will generally just turn off after a short period of time. If you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing to Not Bio Studio and help this channel grow. And if you already are subscribed, thank you very much. You are awesome. Now, when it comes to interfaces, I use several different ones. I own the Vocaster 2. I sold off my Scarlett 2i2, but that one's a nice one as well. Great value. I also owned the Audio Fuse Revision 2, but nowadays I really wouldn't recommend that. The Zoom F3 is a far superior audio interface. Now, if you have any questions, leave it down below. And the Zoom F3 is definitely my favorite audio interface. But for recording instruments, I would probably recommend... This is the Volt 276. What makes it very useful for vocals and instruments is it has a compressor. You can actually add software to get different effects through this device. And we also have XLR to 1 quarter inch, which should be modified to 1 8 inch if needed. Headphone jack right there and the volume for that. And it also has not just USB power, but also has 5 volt DC. The only thing I get to clip were microphones that themselves had a problem with the audio pressure, not actually clipping when doing 32-bit float. This is Eric of Not Bio Studio. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day.